I'm guessing if you're asking this question, my guess is that you hate coding or you suck at it. What's up guys, welcome to another video. I am rocking my MIT gear that I got from when I went to visit Boston a couple of years ago. I decided, you know what? I am gonna stop by MIT and I'm gonna stop by Harvard. So I got my MIT hat that says engineering in the back. It's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. The campus is really, is really amazing. I really like the campus, by the way. But anyway, that's a subject for another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about whether or not engineers need to know how to code. And there's gonna be two approaches that I'm gonna give you here. The first one is gonna be the general approach. And the second one, it's gonna be based on my personal experience. And the general approach, of course, entails at looking at all of the engineering disciplines in general. And I'm guessing that you are guessing what I'm gonna say is it's going to depend on the discipline that you get into. Coding is one of those things that a lot of times, I mean, unless you're a programmer by default, if you're a software engineer or a computer scientist, then of course you need to learn how to code because otherwise, what are you doing being, being one of, in one of those fields? But if you're not a programmer, if you're not learning code throughout the four years of your time in university, then more likely than not, you're not gonna be dealing with coding. Again, it depends a lot on the field that you yourself are trying to get into. So if you are into design, then you might need a little bit of MATLAB here and there. But I want to say that generally speaking, the little bit of programming that you learn, at least as a mechanical engineer, I want to say that a lot. I want to say that most engineering disciplines nowadays require you to have at least an understanding of how programming and coding works. So if you have that background, then I think that you are going to be okay. Because even if you hate coding, if you don't like programming or whatever, you're still going to have a basic, a very basic understanding on how it works, how you use commands, how you name certain classes, how you just over the overall structure of coding and programming. I myself, I don't have a deep understanding of all the coding languages, Python. The only basic, basic understanding that I have and knowledge is on Java and apparently Java sucks, but whatever. It really gives me an, a basic understanding. Oh, and HTML. I know a little bit of HTML and Java. And honestly, those two languages have carried me all through college and as an engineer with nine years on the field. So again, to wrap up the first approach, which is the general approach, you are only going to need to code depending on the field that you are trying to get into. So if you don't know what field you're trying to get into, or if you're trying to avoid coding, what I suggest you do is you look into the positions that you most likely would want to get into. Like if you want to be someone that is into aerodynamics, or if you're someone that is looking to get a job into uh, building or designing heating, air conditioning, what is it? HVAC, heat and ventilation and air conditioning units. Then of course, what I suggest you do, you look into those positions, you go to those companies' websites, and then you look at the requirements of the job description. You look, you go and look at the job requirements and see if they require coding. So that's gonna give you an idea on whether or not you should learn a little bit more of whatever programming language it is that employers require you to have once you graduate. So now the second approach that I want to give you here is my personal experience. And to be completely honest with you, the only programming that I've used since I graduated is Excel <laughs> to be, I'm not even shitting you. Like the only programming software that I use is Excel because I deal with a lot. I'm doing logistics nowadays, so I'm dealing a lot with it now. And I also dealt a lot with it in the beginning of my career. <laughs> but I deal with a lot of graphs, a lot of tables, a lot of data, and I go as far as Excel. I know there are other tools out there that you can use for databases, but we, I personally just use Excel and it's easy enough and if I don't know something I can just look it up on Google really quick and then just learn whatever I need to do and then just apply it right away so it's really not a big deal now 
when I was doing a lot of technical work in my second in my second year as a mechanical engineer, I wasn't doing any coding. And the only thing that I was working with was AutoCAD. So if you're a mechanical engineer, I want to say that if you're looking to get into design, then AutoCAD is a must to learn because that's what that's what that's what helps you model a lot of the systems that you will be working on designing. So that's basically my experience. Uh, Excel is the highest level of programming that I've used. Now that's with respect to my career as an engineer. Let me fix the camera. That's just my experience as an engineer. What I also want to mention is that I also have had other projects on the side, personal projects. I've had a company. I have, I used to run a blog and in those instances, when I was designing websites, my, my own websites, of course, I, with the knowledge that I had, I was able to go into the code and make adjustments, make modifications to the website. And like I was telling you earlier, the knowledge that I gained from HTML and Java have helped me tremendously with respect to my personal projects and my business and my website and the websites that I own in the past. So don't think that just because you're not going to use programming or any type of code after graduation that it's useless. I think that in this age, knowing or having a basic understanding of coding, it's definitely, definitely very, very useful, not just for your own career, but also for your personal life. So that's basically all I wanted to share in this video with you guys. If you are, I'm guessing if you're asking this question, my guess is that you hate coding or you suck at it. And I mean, I don't blame you. I made a video in the past on when I was learning Java and when I was thinking about majoring in computer science and how I just fucking hated computer science. And then it was just, I hated coding, but it doesn't mean that I, I don't understand anything about it. You know, now if you get a little more complicated into Python or other programming languages that I've never, that I've never used or I've never seen, of course, I'm going to be really bad at it and I'm probably going to be just clueless. But generally speaking, I want to say that I have a basic understanding of how programming works and how all the software and coding uh, are put together on the back end. I think I just used the programming term back end. I hope I used it correctly. Anyway, so that's basically the video for today, guys. I just wanted to share that insight with you. And if you have any questions, as always, you can leave them in the comments below, or you can just contact me through Instagram. I'm going to leave my handle somewhere on the screen right now. And with all that out of the way, and with all that being said, if you find this video useful and valuable, make sure you give it a like and consider subscribing here. I talk about engineering career mostly and here and there a little bit of life in general. All right. So with that being said, guys, I hope you have a great week, a great day. Keep killing it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.